what's up guys? This is Derek and Dominic from Disruptive Applications Group and we're here to introduce Geist Design's first product, the Light Hanger. Uh, Dom, why don't you go ahead and give them an overview of uh, what's this thing all about? Alright, so I designed this rig to be completely low profile and minimalistic as possible. It only holds your pure essentials and plates. Um, as you can see by the body of the plate carrier, it's made out of four-way stretch material. Very strong four-way stretch, uh, similar to the stuff Cryo uses. Um, this allows for the material to form to different size plates and form to the user's body. As you can see, we have a swimmer cup plate which runs perfectly on you and medium sized sapping plates which runs perfectly. The inside of the plate carrier is lined with 3mm spacer mesh. This allows for comfort, uh, Airflow and water dispersion in case you sweat or get any water on it. Yeah, it, in contrast to a lot of popular carriers out there today, there's nothing on the, the systems other than on the bottom. There might be like a, a gap or maybe a rivet of some sort, uh, an eyelet. Some of them have the eyelets punched in the bottom or the bottoms of the pouches. Uh, but in contrast also to the JPC, the Cry JPC, where it's got a small, like, three by four section of mesh, something along those lines, uh, for ventilation. This entire plate bag inside of both front and back plate bags uh, is made completely out of mesh, so there's full airflow there, and uh, the only thing between you and the plate is the mesh. For the cummerbund system, I decided to use four inch elastic. This is sewn in, uh, but allows for different adjustments to body types with this large velcro real estate in front. The carbon itself holds two standard M4 or AK mags on the sides and has a small pouch in the back for uh, lights, pistol mags, tourniquets, etc. Anything you can fit in it. Tell me about the shoulder straps. Um, this looks like two inch nylon webbing. Yeah. So it's made out of two inch nylon webbing. It's very robust. Um, it's lined with velcro on both sides, which acts as a sort of padding and allows for different adjustments uh, for different body sizes. This fits our six foot eight friend, two inch something pound, uh, perfectly fine, and it fits me amazing. Yeah, it's just a testimony to how adaptable this play carrier is, that it will uh, fit basically any body type, any size person you are, it will fit you really, really small or really large. Yeah. Um, the shoulder straps and the carbon systems are also triple stitched in. I made sure this was an important feature of this rig because I didn't want it to blow out after extended use. So one good option for running mags on the front as seen here is a kydex insert. Um, this here is a JPC kydex insert um, covered with velcro and a carbon system run over it for extra retention. Yeah, a uh, popular um, kydex insert right now is the GMR gear kydex insert. Um, this one is the JPC kydex insert, but it's not really much different than their, uh, their 694 insert as well. Um, the slits make no difference to the plate hanger. You can run these, you can run custom kydex, you can run probably any brand kydex triple shingle. And uh, the only thing that's going to make it different that you're going to have to modify is just the addition of Velcro. So you just run to the store, grab you some um, adhesive Velcro, put some on the front, some on the back, and you're good to go. Uh, a, main thing with running the Kydex insert is since it's only attached with Velcro, you, you definitely want to run the cummerbund on the front of the shingle instead of behind it with the shingle stuck to the cummerbund. Another mounting option is chest rigs. Now you can run a chest rig over the whole slick design, but um, what people often like to do is directly attach the rig to uh, your carrier. For this, I added a large piece of Velcro up here in the front, six by nine inches, and I perfectly spaced these two webbing loops so you could run swift clips, G-hooks, anything like that to run uh, any assortment of chest rigs or front panels. Yeah, it's compatible with basically every popular brand chest rig shingle, like uh, Mayflowers or GPCRs, yeah, any of that. They'll all just hook right in, just like if they're on their native plane. So the idea behind the plate carrier itself is to be about as simple as as possible. Um, all essentials and everything you need and nothing you don't. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really lightweight run and go kind of kit. It's nothing to hold long lasting like things on the back. Um, my original idea was to keep it completely slick on the back 
Um, this may be changing in the future, but for the Mark IIs, um, it's supposed to be an essential only carrier, and that's what keeps it special. Another task that the plate hanger can fulfill is uh, great for low visibility situations where it's like self-defense, maybe a, a, like a home defense situation, and you wake up in the middle of the night, you want to throw on some armor real quick, but you want it to be really light, really easy to get on. This is, this is going to take care of that situation. Um, maybe you're, you're doing uh, contracting or something along those lines where you have to have it concealed and you're going out you know, into public or something like that, then this definitely works for that situation as well. So it, it is that pretty much that perfect balance between being something you can use open in the field, you know, running mags and, and other kit on it, or low visibility hidden in clothes or in a, in a public area that this is still going to do its job and it's, its job is to protect you. Another main feature that the plate hanger uh, can boast is its ability to be extremely stowable. As soon as you take out your plates, and any other hardware or mags, anything you have on here, it basically just becomes a ball of fabric. If you have to stow this away real fast, ball it up and get done, it'll end up going from a plate carrier into a Y, like that. So to get your hands on one of these plate hangers, you're gonna need to contact um, Dom through Instagram, Facebook, or his email, and uh, he'll get back with you on that but you'll have to specify what you want uh, which which kind of combination of these that you want so what do we have yeah so these will be available in the base colors of multicam ranger green sand or black the accents though um, I can make in tan or black which would cover the velcro cover butt systems and shoulder strap yeah, for watching it's been Derek Dominic guys designs jump to applications play day mark 2 out